Hello and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. And I've been doing so much side offs mission that I've gotten some good gear, but I don't think I've. Because now I could actually Fulton vehicles and containers and other bigger and weapon placements. So surprisingly, I didn't. I'd imagine faulting a vehicle so in it would extract them, but apparently it doesn't work. <laughs> they just fall out. And right now we're trying to capture a translator for Africa. We're now here. Are being held by their Afrikaner colleagues. One of these prisoners is the rescue target, a guy known as the Viscount. The target's location is unknown. The Viscount. They to have an interpreter present when they interrogate him. Hopefully he's not moving. Okay, I was planning to take my vehicle, but it's only 400 meters. So, come on. Back. Okay, there you go. Be careful down there, boss. You get the hell out. Oh, okay. Uh, no, no, no. Rewards. There goes another person. Uh, kind of. Oh, they're all done. Ah. Send my. We got the team. Um, I saw my good team. Okay, let's move. I'm going the wrong way. Reload this. Reload this. And I've still not been able to upgrade these guns yet. Because they require, like, level 23 or higher. I'm almost there. But getting our and people is so difficult. And trying to level up the medical team is also. Thank you, D-Dog. Wait, what's that? Ew. Probably want to extract that. He's our guy. There is a prisoner. I'll be good if he dies. Alright. Who? Where? And I'll get shot by snipers again. They are all business. Hard to believe they're interrogating their own. The situation must be worse than we thought. Make a wrong move, and they could kill the target without warning. Come on. If you're going to use a weapon, be careful not to draw the enemy's attention. Come on. Shouldn't be too far. Nope. Okay, hopefully I don't look this way. Nope, you're full shit. the lingua franca for mercs in that area. If you're going to get any information from interrogations, that prisoner you extracted wasn't the target, but we did get some information. Well, Seems the prisoners aren't held together. What are you <sighs> doing? If the interpreter doesn't show up, they won't be able to interrogate anyone. Then they'll just kill the target. Uh, isn't he the interpreter? We got our guy, right? Must. <sighs> Whatever. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Ooh, shipping containers. Boss, the interpreter didn't know the target's location. 
He did tell us where the interrogations are conducted, but they won't start before nightfall. Though if they get suspicious, now that the interpreter's gone, they could kill the target before then. Hurry up and find him. Oh, so I just have to find prisoners. Interrogate him. Find out what he knows. Hey. Okay. I believe that should be all I need out of you. I don't know who the hell you are. Orders are only the Viscount gets rescued. Can't understand why he receives special treatment, but I don't imagine it'll be a problem to save the other prisoners too. Oh, you're a bee right. To extract you two, buddy. So I have to hurry up before nightfall. That prisoner wasn't the target either. We got some more information though. They're going to interrogate the target at night. I know something for D Walker. That's cool. Thought I'm hardly gonna use him because he's so expensive to use. Oh. It's like ten thousand alone. Oh. I wonder if he knows anything. Yes, I'm gonna just spit it out. Blueprint. Okay, there's that guy who might see. Wait. Where are the blueprints? Whatever. These shipping containers. So, our rescue target was behind some kind of plot. What the heck do you mean by that? <laughs> Boss, I did some digging, and it seems the target himself gave us this mission through a representative. Obviously, he couldn't contact us directly due to his predicament. So, still, still, nope. something like this by count doesn't add up. <laughs> Okay, give me. Speak. Don't care about diamonds, buddy. I guess I need to head over here. Find them. Okay, I'll help. You know about the prisoner? Get down. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it doesn't seem. The prisoner should be in there. Uh. Christ game. But where the fuck's the target? The campfire was going on over here. Uh, what is he in here? Oh, 
shit. Come on. Okay, there's him. Can you peek up just for a bit? And you peek up. There we go. Don't know where the fuck the prisoner died at. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, I should get all the way over here now. I don't have a vehicle. Get quickly here before it's night. Yeah, apparently they didn't bother telling me in the first place. Oh, they did, just not specifically. Either it's... Where? This isn't all nowhere. Executioner? Thing in here. Ah, uh, birthday. Prisoner? Here we go. So we just lost one prisoner. Good. Good dog. Oh, not you. Are you gonna get? Nope. Target extraction confirmed. Get yourself out of the hot zone. By chopper or by land. It's your choice. Yeah, you process material. I'll go this way. I need more materials. Oh, I need the round surprisingly. Have I? Ew. Oh, I don't need these really. But every little bit helps. Nope, nothing. Where's the exit? Really? Up there. Alright, you're out of the hot zone. Okay. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. <sighs> Other British. It turns out he's a real two-faced son of a bitch. He was planning to secure the MPLA's oil field rights for himself in exchange for swapping the CFA's alliance from the anti-government United Rebels to the state-backed MPLA. He hid this from the Afrikaners, but once he thought the jig was up, he tried to pin it on the other British personnel and take off. The Afrikaners uh, jerk. Him, and that was when he asked us to rescue him and only him. I'll throw him in the brig for now, but we may have to be extra persuasive with this one. He mentioned that more than a few PFs in the region have purchased Walker gears. The CFA is the same. Oh, the just Soviet a few. Army technology, and it's still a prototype. That's still pretty effective. Leaking it to the PFs, but the question is why? 
Okay, so I just got told by Asa about something about Quiet and meeting her in her cell. So that's what we're going to do and see if there's a cutscene. Because I have to meet her in her cell for some reason. Either so that I finally get her, or it's just an update of what's going on finally. Oh, cause I have to actually go to her cell. I haven't told the blood I had. I was like covered in blood during that last mission. Which you guys... Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. Cause I didn't get caught afterwards cause I was doing side ops. I had blood, I'm pretty sure. Reload this. Reload this. Yeah, let's equip this in case something goes downhill, maybe with quiet. So, also, I should be in her cell. Before I do that. Oh, it's a side off. That's cool. <laughs> so, I've done, oh, I've done this anyways. Water. Showers are okay, but she can't be submerged. Oh, okay. What's wrong with her? She's drinking through her skin. The heck? She's okay? She's okay. She just can't move when she's taking in water. She's like a plant. She's almost like the end from Metal Gear 3. See that? She hasn't eaten a thing since she got here. She doesn't eat either? Never. It's photosynthesis. Photosynthesis? <laughs> That's the verdict from the medical staff. No, the jury's still out. It's the only explanation for what we've seen. The crew had a man with that ability in its Cobra unit. Now, we don't think she's contagious. But some of the staff can't stomach her. It's starting to affect morale. Can't you send her on a mission? By herself? No. Of course not. No, she does have skill. Why not take her out on one of your missions? Seems to like it. <laughs> of course, only if you think she'll be useful. No, I'm definitely Next gonna take her. Go out and keep her in mind. She's like a goddamn plant. <laughs> 